guys. Literally driving to Vallejo right now. Uh, it's like 10 a.m. 10:25. But I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a ton of rocks flying around from each car. They're just hitting my car. So I don't know if I'm gonna be trailing these dudes because they have some sticky ass tires. Like I don't, I don't want to mess my paint up. Like obviously no one wants to mess their paint up. And on older paint too, like rock chips, like really hit. So I don't know. These, these guys need to stop flinging rocks up at me because it's messing up my paint. So yeah, I'm about to go to Hyperworks, uh, Vallejo. We're about to hardwire the. We're about to hardwire the RPM gauge because it hasn't worked for the long. It doesn't work. You know, so we gotta get that working. Just pulled into Hybrid Works again. It's about to, uh, it's about to wire up my RPM gauge so I can finally see. I know I've said it so many times, but they're finally, I mean, last time they tuned it, but this time they're gonna wire up the RPM gauge because we switched out the distributor so I can actually see what RPM I'm at and I can actually shift correctly. Can you like twist the wires? Can you do this? No, I'm not gonna do that. It's all coming apart. This is basically a whole diagram that Anthony from Hybridworks made. He's been, he's had these for a while, and these are the diagrams of each ECU or of the ECUs through the years. Um, basically, in my in my car, um, they split the. This is the ECU wire for the RPM, and then this is the power. This is the one to the tack. Um, in the older in the older models, they were together, so these were one. And that's why when they gave me the older distributor, when we swapped out the older distributor, it only had one output. So now they're um, they're currently tapping in and wiring in uh, a separate one that goes to my tack, just like it it should. But yeah, this is a common problem for any guys with like swaps going from OBD one OBD two. It gets kind of it gets kind of confusing. Not really. That's not I mean. It's, I mean, it's confusing to me. Obviously not to them. But you know to guys that are just getting into Hondas, like I just bought this Honda like six months ago. It's kind of confusing, but hopefully, I mean, I'm very, very grateful that they have taught me and they're like kind of explaining everything to me because otherwise I'd be completely lost at what I'm looking at. But yeah, shout out Hyperworks. Uh, if you guys need any Honda work, honestly, just come here. Like they know everything, literally. Yeesh, man, look at this. EG, the dream EG. Oh, all right, so. This one has a real Type R swap. It's not in the American B18C5. It's like a B18C, just a B18C. Straight from Japan, this motor and the transmission. Dude, this thing is probably so fast. Oh my God, bro. It looks stock inside too. See, that's what I like about this EG. It looks so stock. But then you look in here, it probably cracks over 200 wheel horsepower. This thing is... Oh my god. Alright guys, just finished up here at Hyperworks. Uh, gave me a pretty good price. Like I said, once again, shout out Hyperworks. But yeah, finally. This is the one thing I've been waiting for, man. Oh my god. If, <laughs> I haven't seen that RPM gauge go up in a while, but yeah, I bet I test out some pulls on the highway. Uh, allegedly, in Mexico. Test out the RPM gauge. I gotta see if it works, you know? I gotta make sure the RPM gauge works. Alright guys, back at the Integra. You see the RPM gauge works. Well, actually, we don't know if it works yet, so I'll, I'm gonna test it out real quick. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working, bro. Guys, it's working! <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I can confirm the, the RPM gauge is working. A few moments later. Alright guys, update. Uh, uh, I'm just throwing a huge check engine light right now. My car just died. I was literally just stranded on the side of the highway. It was not cranking at all. I'm good now though, but Oh my god, man. This thing has a check engine light. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I'm so scared. It could just die again at any moment. 
but I was legit stranded for like 20 minutes, man. I just came back from Hive Works. We are good. Uh, Anthony, the owner here at Hive Works, rewired the, so the VTEC solenoid was bad. Or sorry, the wiring to the VTEC solenoid to the engine harness was bad. It was hanging on by one strand of wire. He cut it and then resoldered it to make a full connection. Oh my God, man. Those pulls before that you guys saw on the highway, that was with no VTEC. I like I thought it was slow because it was uphill, but no, that was, I was no VTEC was engaging. My VTEC was not engaging those videos. I will show you guys pulls on me on the highway. I'm about to show you guys pulls on the highway with VTEC engaging. So about to crank this, man. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Uh, we back in the Integra. We got VTEC working again, so you know we're gonna do a little pull right now. See if it works. I need to see if it works. Oh! Oh! Yo, VTEC just kicked in, bruh. Yup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, we gotta work it again. See, this feels good, and I can see what RPM I'm in too. Oh, I cannot wait to run Griffin again. I'm gonna give Griffin a run for his money, man. And the ND. Now that I can see what RPM I'm at, I think I have a chance now. Cause before, when I when I raced Griffin. I was shifting premature. I think I was shifting prematurely. I don't know because my our, my tack didn't work. But now that my tack works, I can kind of see like. Shit, hold on. Let me let me test out the RPM gauge one more time, guys. Hold on. after a long journey i finally made it back from vallejo i'm so tired man uh, it's probably gonna wrap up the video i don't know how long it's gonna be but you know i mean i had to drive back to uh hybrid works to fix the vtex solenoid wow. and then also get out of limp mode but now the car's finally running fine and everything so we're all good fast wearing velvet. can you take a four or five to the pelvis plenty money going around i'm not selfish and the ladies love me Elvis, smoky gas, living fast, wearing velvet. 